I uh, heard from one of my fans at my YouTube channel and he told me that he tried to order my book Jesus the Eternal Bridegroom from Amazon and he was redirected to a book about atheism and um, he said he was not able to order the book from Amazon if any anybody else out there is having a similar experience and Amazon is not working out for you then try ordering Jesus the Eternal Bridegroom from my men I will give you three email addresses I suggest that you send an email to each of these addresses and hope that at least one of them will go through try Judge Terry Jenkins at yahoo.com that's J-U-D-G-E T-E-R-R-Y-J-E-N-K-I-N-S at yahoo.com Y-A-H-O-O dot com Try Gail Cord Schuler at gmail dot com That's G-A-I-L-C-H-O-R-D S-C-H-U-L-E-R All small letters at gmail.com and in all of these uh, email addresses that I'm giving you it's all small letters there are no caps though it might work with caps but I've been using all small letters um, if that doesn't work try um, Gail's Men G-A-I-L-S-M-E-N at yahoo.com so that's Gail Cord Schuler at gmail.com Galesmen at yahoo.com or Judge Terry Jenkins at yahoo.com. And um, I hope that that will work. What I suggest you do is when you send them an email, just state your name, give them contact information like your email or your address or your telephone number, and let them know that you've tried to order the book. Mention the name of the book. Um, Jesus the Eternal Bridegroom and that you didn't have any luck at Amazon and you would like to get the book and I think they will do if they do receive your email I believe that they will do your their best to make sure you get a copy of the book even if they have to buy the book for you I think they they're willing to do that uh, or what they might do is allow you to purchase the book through them and another possibility is let's say Zach Knight is able to sabotage all of the emails maybe just write them and say you'd like to join Church of Gale and as a a gift for joining Church of Gale could they receive a copy of Gale's book Jesus the Eternal Bridegroom you could try that as well I'm certain that my men have got huge displays of all of my books and especially this last one at the church and they may be selling them at the church so if you can't get it through Amazon, you might be able to buy it directly from my men. And again, I'm going to show you some samples of this book. I want people to get this book even if I don't get the money for it because it's a spiritual powerhouse. You know, I was reading through it uh, yesterday and um, this book will make you uncomfortable if, uh, if you love your sins. If you're a proud vulgar sinful person you will not be able to finish reading this book it's kinda of like the Bible in that respect uh, it's a spiritual powerhouse uh, it's it will if you if you have a heart for God you will love it if you don't have a heart for God and if you love Satan and you love sinning you'll hate the book this is a book nobody's gonna be neutral about they're either gonna hate it or they're gonna love it if you, have, if you love spiritual beauty and you love to fe have this feeling of your soul transcending to the heavens as you experience the Lord Jesus Christ in your heart, you will love this book. If you enjoy being vulgar, enjoy being abusive, enjoy hurting people, if you are vain and proud, you will hate the book because it will expose you like a dirty rat. That's what this book is like. But if you are an abuse victim, especially physical or emotional abuse, I encourage you to read this book because that's what Brent Spiner has been. And he is the point of view character. And, um, so, 
And this book is about how he achieved victory over depression, over thoughts of suicide, over the, um, the Holocaust, the emotional and physical Holocaust that the Jesuits put him through. And what the Lord did in his life is just miraculous, and I captured it brilliantly in this book. Let me just give you um, some sample. Um, uh, let's see here. Let's see. Okay, again, let's try to get this right here. All right, there we go. All right, let's bring that in here. Okay. Um, if you go to Kindle, Amazon Kindle, you can actually get a sample of Jesus Christ on a UFO and the very beginning of Jesus and my Jesuit clone at Kindle. But I've noticed with interest that nobody seems to be ordering my Kindle version, which I think is really strange. I, Zach Knight has obviously done some sort of sabotage, and I'm wondering if it's possible that people can't even read the Kindle. You know, normally when you go to Amazon Kindle, you can read the first couple chapters online, and I can, but I'm wondering if Zach is sabotaging it for you guys. But I encourage you just to go to Amazon Kindle and uh, look up Jesus the Eternal Bridegroom and read the first couple chapters of the uh, Kindle version online. It's free and, and it really gives you a feel for the book. So let's go to, uh, okay, here's Jesus and my Jesuit clone. And this just kind of like gives you a feel for it. Uh, Uh, because Gail loved me through everything, she made me feel that perhaps God was real. This, this is what the book's like, folks. Okay, let's go back to the table of contents. We will go to, uh, here's Church of Gail. Just kind of going right through it here. This is the Kindle version. Um, and uh, I just want people to get a feel for this book here. Um, you see how, look at the spirituality in here. This book is going to change your life. Zach Knight doesn't like that. Okay. Um, let's uh, go to the next chapter here. Heart Attacks and Jesuit Camilla Alves. Okay. Okay. Here's this. That's what's in that chapter. Uh, I actually want people to see this book because I want to make sure you get the copy that I wrote. Because in the past, Zach has actually mailed people counterfeit copies of my book and it's like wow I didn't buy here's the next chapter okay just I'm kind of going right through it we're just gonna go kind of flip right through this book here okay here's um, nuke on the Vatican okay there's that one and um Hugh Jackman's heroic robot. This was quite. This is this is an amazing story, absolutely amazing. Okay, right here's some of the philosophy for this. She was hated and despised because Jesuit, because Satan despised Jesus Christ. To have the spirit of Christ was the worst sin on earth. And so this gives you a feel for the book. Uh, San Francisco Jesuit homosexual compound. Uh, now, the Jesuits are going to capitalize on this and try to make it appear that we at Church of Gale are anti-gay. We are not anti-gay, okay? We only are anti-abuse. So, if you are homosexual but you truly love your partner, I don't think Jesus minds that. What he doesn't like is uh, somebody who's a homosexual and is abusive, okay? Or it doesn't matter whether you're homosexual or not. Any type of sexual abuse is wrong. Okay, that's... Uh, Okay, this is a this was a very traumatic experience for my men, and it doesn't matter what your sin is, whether it's uh, abusive homosexuality or bestiality. If you're abusive and you hurt people, Jesus does not like that. Okay, it doesn't matter how you go about it, and don't use your your overweight problem or your you know your gluttony or your sexual orientation as an excuse for your sin. Okay, here's this one right here. Jesuits torture Vladimir Putin and Kim Jong Il. Uh, this is this is an amazing chapter. It's quite long. Okay, to succeed in Hollywood, one has to take chances, even risk your own self-respect sometimes. But to surrender your self-respect in order to succeed in any career is too great a sacrifice. I told you there's lots in this book. If you're a shallow person, you will hate this book. 
uh, Zach Knight's new cocky on Canada. This was the first new cocky. Um, and I actually go into how he used brain control to erase memories and all this sorts of stuff. So excellent chapter here. Uh, okay. Um, Resurrection from the Dead. This was an amazing... Oh, this is what Kendall does. This was amazing. They uh, The Jesuits murdered uh, Terence Jenkins and then Jesus brought him back. So just, just amazing. Amazing. you got to read this book, folks. It's a life changer. I don't care if I don't get any money for it. I want this story to go out. Okay. Um, Jesus Christ executes Zack Knight. Here's the next chapter. This was amazing. This, this is all true, by the way. Okay. Um, um, Jesus Christ. Okay. A dildo for Gale. This is a chapter about when my men gave me that dildo. I'm, I'm going through the Kindle version. Now, Kindle has several ways you can do it. You can use your iPhone, your iPad, uh, uh, or a Kindle device, or all sorts of stuff. An Android phone. So I, I don't have any of those. I'm, I get Kindle right off my computer. Some of those might be even better than this. So. Okay, um, let's go here. Okay, uh, Camilla Alves puts Jesus Christ on the stand. Now, this is a dramatic presentation. I actually wrote it much like a novel. And um, it's probably not a word-for-word -word accurate trans... It's not a word-for-word -word accurate transcription of what happened in the trial, but it does capture the relationship that each of the characters had with each other in the trial. And it is nonfiction. Uh, Camilla is not at all like how she appears in public. She is a real fake. <laughs> so uh, my book exposes the truth about her, which she won't like because, uh, you know, Zack Knight owns the, the mainstream media and he's just filling it with a bunch of lies. Okay, Jesus Christ appears at Fox News. This is uh, another chapter. Um, okay, and this is uh, the good actually showed what happened. Uh, it was quite amazing. Quite amazing. All right. Um, make sure I'm still here. Okay, then here's the, uh, the last. Let's go to the last chapter. This is probably the longest chapter in the book. Oops. That's where uh, Jesus Christ shows up. Here it is. Okay. And we really did have a church service. Uh, Satan showed up first. Then he entered the body of Zack Knight and made Zack Knight the Antichrist. And then Jesus Christ rescued us. And it's all here with actual, I actually tape recorded that. And I got captured Satan's voice and Jesus said, no, Gail, I don't want people to hear Satan's voice. That's too dangerous. I want you to transcribe it. And um, let, he says, I want people to know what happened, but don't let people hear Satan's voice. So. I'm certain that Jesus loves my book because the truth is getting out. Anyways, like I said, if you uh, have, have problems, oh, i got to get it. Here we go. If you have problems getting the book, try emailing my men at gailcordschuler at gmail.com, judgeterryjenkins at yahoo.com, or galesmen at yahoo.com, and I'm going to pray that you all get the book, okay? In the past, what Zach Knight has done is he has uh, either caused people not to get the, the book that I wrote, or he's used his cloned versions of the internet to uh, cause people to uh, uh, get the book, and then the money would go to the Jesuit banks. Um, and I, even though I know that's probably going to happen again, I really, he's so upset with this book. He's, he doesn't want to just sabotage my finances. He, would, he doesn't even want people to get the book. And so, you know, that's just not right. He, his lies have been ruling the universe, and it's time for truth to prevail and for love to prevail. And uh, now he's making it so that people can't even order my book now. So. I hope that this works, and I'm going to pray that my story does go out and that Zack Knight is not able to sabotage it 